Dave Palumbo with an RX Muscle news update. Well, we knew this day was coming sooner or later. A lot of people have been talking about it. Uh, Kelly Ryan uh, released uh, from prison on parole. If you guys remember back to 2005, December of 2005, uh, Craig Titus and his wife, Kelly Ryan, who was an IPV uh, professional fitness uh, competitor, and a very good one at that, maybe one of the best, uh, were implicated in the crime of uh, killing their assistant, Melissa James. It took place in Vegas. Uh, evidently, they tried to burn the body in their car. They put it in the desert, and it was a whole fiasco. I mean, this was, it was so, it was such an emotional roller coaster of what happened because everyone, you know, not everyone who was in the industry at the time knew Craig and Kelly. They were very well known. Uh, we, you know, hung out with them at different events. They ran all the parties, the after parties at all the shows. And uh, Craig was obviously, I competed with him in the 90s. Uh, as an amateur, of course, I never turned pro, so I didn't get to be, compete with him on a pro stage. But I knew Craig very well, and, and Kelly was obviously a terrific uh, fitness competitor. Probably should have been Miss Olympia uh, a couple times. And the two of them somehow got into doing, you know, uh, the wrong things, uh, recreational drugs, so we hear. And somehow, we still will probably never find out the, the true story of what happened. Melissa James died. Uh, Craig uh, came up with this great idea that we're going to—they was going to get rid of the body. Why he didn't call the police, we don't know. Uh, they put the body in the car. They, they bought lighter fluid uh, with a credit card uh, at a store, convenience store. It was—they were on the security cameras doing so. Uh, they burned the body, or they tried to at least. It didn't do such a great job. Then they went on the run for almost a week. They were found in a nail salon. Kelly was getting her nails done in, in Boston, Massachusetts, or around that area. Uh, before they were supposed to flee the country. Obviously, they were arrested. Uh, when all was said and done, uh, Craig had accepted responsibility uh, for doing it, and they took a plea deal. Craig got, uh, I think, something like up to 36 years in prison or something like that. 18 to 36 years, I believe. Or 18 to 55 years in prison. Kelly got uh, 3 to 13 years. So a lot of people felt that she was going to be paroled after three years, and that wasn't the case. They turned her parole. I think she was turned down three times. Uh, over the last 13 years. She did her full sentence, pretty much, uh, from the, uh, I guess if you go on the Clark County Detention Center website, you can find, pull up her record, and you can see that she was uh, granted parole just recently. Uh, she's out. I don't know where she is now or where she's staying. That's, uh, she probably is in Vegas, I would think, or unless she went someplace else, I'm not really sure. Uh, People are talking about it. Uh, people don't really, I guess, know too much information. I'm sure she's laying very low at this point. I'm sure she's just happy to be out. It, it had to be a, uh, a terrible experience. Once again, we don't really know what happened. Uh, whether we'll ever find out is, remains to be seen. But I'll say one thing. Kelly Ryan was one of the best routines I had ever seen in the fitness realm. And I'm a big Oksana Groshina fan. I would have loved to seen Kelly compete against Oksana. Uh, I think, personally, Kelly was better than the... Susie Curry, who was winning the Olympias back during those times, I thought she had a better physique, and she, I thought her routines were way more uh, entertaining. And it's a, you know, it was a shame to see what happened to Craig and Kelly, and obviously Craig just recently was in the news. OJ got out of jail, and Craig supposedly helped uh, OJ you know, lose 100 pounds before, uh, the last six months before he was released from prison. I had a feeling that Craig and OJ would kind of hook up in, in, in prison, especially since they were both in Vegas. But Craig will be there for quite a, you know, probably the rest of his life, more than likely. Kelly out now. What she'll be doing, we don't know. Will she be involved in the fitness industry again? I don't know. Uh, she, I know she was very big into the church uh, in jail, and she ran a lot of Bible study there. Uh, I think that uh, came from the background she was raised in. Uh, and I believe she's from South Carolina or North Carolina, one of those. Once again, I, I would love to interview her. You know, obviously, it's, I'm sure it's too soon for her right now. She's probably still in, in, in shock from being released. But at some point, you know, if she does watch this video, I would love to sit down with her and, uh, and, and ask her some questions. And, you know, if she'd be up for that, I'd be certainly open for it. Uh, I'm sure the family of Melissa James is not happy that she's been released. But once again, you know, she served the time that she was given. Uh, Craig will still once again be in jail. Once again, I would love to know what happened. I'm sure we'll never find out the true story of, of what went on. But this is the breaking news. Kelly Ryan has been released on parole. Uh, stay tuned for more RX Muscle News updates as we find them out. I'm Dave Palumbo. We'll see you soon.